Hey everyone, I'm gladly welcome you to my channel, Gentle PSD. Today in this video, we will be learning about how to create this amazing business card in Photoshop. Before we begin, you make sure to hit that subscribe button for more amazing tutorials. We will start our tutorial with an inspirational quote. There is no elevator to the success, you have to take the stairs. Now, without any further ado let's begin. Create a new document. Our width is 1920 and the height is 1080 pixels. Resolution 300. Click create. Take the rectangle tool and click the blank space. Now type in the width as 1120 and the height is 670 pixels. Click OK. Place the rectangle in the center by dragging it using move tool. Now we will import our stock photo by simply dragging to the Photoshop. Reduce its size by holding Alt Shift and drag it like this. Right click on our stock photo layer and click create clipping mask. Duplicate our photo layer by pressing Ctrl J. And go to filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. Change the blur radius to 4.5 pixels. Click OK. Take your pen tool. And make shape something like this. Right click on the blank space and select make selection. Make sure the radius is 0 pixels and click OK. Now hide our shape layer and select our duplicated stock photo layer. Add layer mask to it by clicking the layer mask icon. Now we applied our layer mask, as you see the blur effect is only visible on the selected area. Right click on the blurred photo layer and select create clipping mask. Delete the shape layer. Again create a new layer. Take your rectangular marquee tool and create a shape something like this. Change your foreground color to green. Press Alt Backspace to apply the foreground color to the new layer. Press Ctrl D to deselect the selection and transform it by pressing Ctrl T. Tilt the shape slightly and place it like this. Double click on the shape layer to bring the layer style window. Click drop shadow. Change the size to 69 and distance to 2 pixels. Change the spread to 39%. Make sure the opacity is 80%. Click OK. Now again right click and select the clipping mask. Right click on the drop shadow and select create layer. It will create a new layer for the drop shadow. Click OK. Select the drop shadow layer. Add layer mask to it. Take your brush tool. Make sure the foreground color is black. And make sure the hardness is 0%. Erase the shadows at the edge. Like this. Double click on the shape layer and add pattern overlay. Change the blend mode to multiply. I will use this pattern. You can choose whatever pattern you like. Change the size to 130% and click OK. Now duplicate the to layer and transform it by pressing Ctrl T. Right click and select flip horizontal. 
Place it like this. Group all the shape layer. And convert it into smart object. Then add clipping mask once again. You can transform it and make it little larger if you want. And create a new layer. Now take your rectangular McQueen tool. Make a shape like this. Change the foreground color to dark gray. Click OK. Press Alt Backspace to apply the foreground color. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Right click on the layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Place it like this. Now we will add drop shadow to it by double clicking on the shape layer and select drop shadow. Make sure the size is 30 and the distance is 12 pixels. Click OK. We will do the same process to the bottom of our business card. Now we will add text to the card. Take your text tool. Change the color to white. Type in your brand name. Place it in the center. I will add some icons to it, which I downloaded it from the Google. Drag the icons to our business card and place it like this. We will keep dragging all of our icons. And add barcode icon to it if you want. We will add pattern overlay to our bottom and top dark gray layer. It's completely your choice. Now group all of our layer and name it as front. We finished front side of our business card. It's time to create the back side. Hide our front group. And create a new layer. Take your rectangle at all and click on the blank space. Type in the width as 1120 and the height as 670 pixels. Click OK. Place it in the center using move tool. Increase its size by dragging while holding shift and alt so we can see it clearly. Click OK. Now we will import our stock photo once again. Right click on the stock photo layer and click create clipping mask. We will add Gaussian blur to it by going filter and Gaussian blur. Change the radius to 5 pixels. Click OK. Create a new layer. Make a shape using rectangular marquee tool. Make sure the foreground color is dark gray. Press Alt Backspace to apply the foreground color. Press Ctrl D to deselect. We will add pattern overlay once again. Make sure the scale is 80% and click OK. Right click on the layer and select create clipping mask. Transform it and place it like this. We will add text to it. Take your text tool. And change its color to white. Type in your brand name. Place it in the center. I will add my logo to the card. You can add yours, it's your choice. Click on the blend mode and select the luminosity. Now we will add text again. Transform the text and place it in the center, like this. We finally finished our business card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will be happy if you learned even a little about the creation. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment, I will answer it as soon as possible.
Don't forget to subscribe and like for more amazing tutorials. Until our next tutorial, stay happy. Thank you.